I'm going to play with the dissolve blend mode and see if I can make a uh, stochastic halftone screen, sort of a random dot halftone screen. So first of all, I have a bright yellow layer on top of a dark blue layer on top of a photograph. And um, the bright, and the reason I chose those colors is for no reason other than I just want to make something sort of decorative. So just interesting to make it golden and blue. It could be black and white. And then in the case of a half tone, it probably would be black and white. Uh, the upper layer is set to dissolve, the dissolve blend mode. And what that means is that if at 100%, you see 100% of the yellow uh, layer. As you lower this, it turns into speckles, and the speckles reveal the underlying layer. Now, what's interesting about it is that if you ask for a layer mask, and you put a grad in it, like for example a, uh, a linear one, um, it speckles off from one color to the other. And here's a round grad, and here's a big one, big round grad. So um, what you put, the gray levels that you put into the um, grad translate into s speckle densities. So um, if we take that um, photograph and I'm going to ask for a black and white adjustment layer and I'm going to accept the default and I'm going to merge it down just for convenience and I'm going to go to the channels and I'm going to load the red channel although because it's a black and white image all the channels are identical but I'm going to load a red channel and I'm going to go back to layers and I'm going to make that active make that active and then I'm going to up here ask for a layer mask and we have a random halftone pattern made by the dissolve blend mode that is a transition between the upper layer which happens to be yellow but could be white and the lower layer, which happens to be darker blue, but could be black. Uh, if you want to get a close look at it, there it is. It's pure uh, point density that's controlling what it looks like. Now let's work on a full color version. This is the color image that I'm going to be using to make a stochastic full color halftone from. I've already gone ahead and done a fair amount of work. There's a yellow layer on the right, a white layer on top, and the blue separation from that image. Magenta, white, and the green separation. Cyan, white, and the red separation. Okay, so let's see. Starting with the red separation, we go to channels and I load the red sep, come back to layers, uh, ask for a layer mask which combines uh, the white layer over the cyan layer. There it is. I'm going to take this and throw it away just for clarity. That's the uh, subtractive color for um, CMYK printing and when I change it from normal to dissolve it's sparkly. I'm going to turn that off for a second. Actually, I'm going to merge this down, and then I'm going to turn that off. Uh, the green sep, go to channels, load the selection, come back here, ask for a layer mask, turn that off. Actually, I can throw that away. Ask for a layer mask, um, turn this to dissolve. There it is, sparkly again. Merge down, turn that off over here, load selection, come to layers, throw that away just for clarity, um, ask for a layer mask, turn that to dissolve, merge that down. Now we have three layers and um, if I take the background and change it to white and um, then I set this to multiply, multiply, multiply. Then I can take these layers and move them on top of each other and you can see uh, the full image. If we take a closer look at this image 
can see that it is made up of nothing more than those uh, CMYK uh, green reds uh, um, you know the the primaries red RGB and CMY primaries and black um, because of the way they interact with each other and that is produced just by using three versions of the um, dissolve blend mode. The reason I use three versions, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, because I made this uh, tape in three pieces, because uh, I have a uh, limit on how long a movie I can make with my software, but the reason I, I made it in three pieces is because um, the dissolve blend mode actually repeats its patterns from layer to layer, and I didn't want it to repeat, so I needed to make three layers separated from each other, and then when I combine them, hopefully the randomness is, is different. And it's kind of interesting to see small. And there we go. So another use for the dissolve blend mode.